We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. What's up, y'all? This is Steven Seagull. I just want to say that I really support all the work y'all are doing here. I think y'all are doing great work, and I endorse this channel and the peasant that's in charge of this channel. I ain't fan to keep watching, but I might come back and visit y'all. Remember, the river always flows until it doesn't flow anymore. Peace. Yeah, I just, you know. Welcome back, you brilliant and crazy men and women. Wow, what an inspirational message from the Chosen One. And what an absolute treat to have him address us. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more random appearances from Sensei Seagal in the future. You're all here because you're smart enough to recognize the value that Sensei Seagal brings to the future world. The spiritual uprising creeps ever so closer every day. The ascension is upon us. Today we're going back six or seven years when some moron in Seagal's camp decided that holding an AMA and ask me anything was a smart idea. Not a great plan. Papa Seagal was releasing another one of his high quality action flicks, Code of Honor. I'm not all about the money, I'm all about the honor. And decided to promote it by hosting an AMA on Reddit. To those of you that are unfamiliar, an AMA or ask me anything is exactly as it sounds. People ask that celebrity anything live. Oh, this is gonna be good. Now, whether it was Seagal himself or a member of his team is something we may never know. But I know deep within my heart that it was Big Daddy Seagal reading these comments with his beady little eyes behind these orange tinted glasses. I like to think he cried a little bit. <laughs> we all know Seagal is a man of the people and the fans love him. You can see from this footage the bond he has with people. But how much do they love him? Some of these comments, bless their souls, are hilarious. It was a tough choice selecting the ones to put in the video. Depending on how it goes, I may make a second one just full of the comments that I missed out in this one. What do you wish for? Before we get into the demolition of Seagal's anus, anus. If I may take uno momento to ask you to please like and subscribe as it really helps this little cult in its aim of replacing Scientology as the most authentic religion out there. Oh, new friend! Hey. Oh, friend! He's my friend! Oh, oh friend. friend! Oh, friend! So, as mentioned earlier, Papa Seagal was in Thailand promoting Code of Honor, a movie that we haven't covered yet but we will very soon. By all accounts, the AMA session didn't last very long, about 15 to 20 minutes, and most of the comments and questions are, well... Fantastic. It's brilliant, mate. It's fucking brilliant. Off you go. Hi, everyone. This is Steven Seagal. Yes, really. Live from Bangkok, and I'm ready for your questions. I kick some serious ass in my new movie, Code of Honor, in theaters and on demand tomorrow, May the 6th. How long did it take you to realize this was a mistake? LMAFO, pretty quickly seeing he disappeared after 20 minutes or so. Praise me, Lord Seagal, this is going to be brilliant. He was there for less than an hour, awesome. I got him in about 15 minutes. Stellar effort, you fat fuck. You're not even convincing as a human being, let alone a martial artist or actor, or rapper. I didn't know Seagal was a rapper. Oh wait, Punani. When the girls start to strut, you can look at them, but you shouldn't do that. The girl dress is just a pity, not just there to cover her kitty. Too busy banging Thai prostitutes and not answering real questions. A little bit of contention about how long Seagal was actually there, but that final comment shows how much fans truly know Seagal. I want you to take me someplace where I can find some drugs or some women. Now let's move on and take a look at some straightforward one-liners. Simple, direct. Where do you buy your hair? Yeah, I just, you know... I can answer that. He doesn't. He paints it on. I'm a Russian Mongol and I'm Russian. Are you a sociopathic asshole? Yeah. I think we all know the answer to that. Why do you run like a girl? Shut the fuck up. That's a fair point. He does run like a girl. Back when he actually moved around in movies and wasn't just a deranged land whale. Why are you such a see you next Tuesday? Now, whilst I may agree with their message and its meaning, the execution and delivery was poor, and to me, show someone who has no class. Now, this comment on the other hand, Steven, you're my absolute hero. I've watched everything you've ever been in, from Nico to Out for Justice, 
to exit wounds, to attack force, to lawmen, to getting laughed at in live interviews wearing ballistic glasses, to getting accused of kidnap and torture, to not being able to fit through doors anymore. My question is, can I suck your dick or watch you fuck my sister? <laughs> Now, that individual is extremely complex and disturbed, but at least they took the time to construct a thoughtful sentence and question, not just calling him a C-word. So while Big Daddy Seagal was there, he answered about five questions before jumping off this sinking pile of shit idea that, once again, someone sat there and thought, A brilliant idea! Any advice for your actors? Seagal replied, It's a very hard road to hoe. And you're gonna have to be patient and understanding and understand whoever gets the role isn't necessarily the best, but who you know. Now that sounds like the ramblings of Segal for sure. I'm Russian. My family are from Vladivostok and Belarus and you know, Vladimir Putin. There were some really intelligent questions mixed in here also. And those are what Segal answered of course. Bullshit, motherfucker! Mr. Segal. Would you rather fight 100 my size Steven Seagal's or one Steven Seagal sized mouse? Nigga, what? One buddy rather than 100. I mean, one Seagal sized mouse will be a fucking huge mouse. 100 my size Steven Seagal's. Now that's a movie I can get behind. That's shit I would like to see. Why don't him and his money laundering mates make that movie? I wanna see that! You wanna see that? And of course, you are all aware of Seagal's musical prowess. There was a king who lived in a foreign land. Lived in a foreign land. I had riches and gold, the envy of every man. Envy of every man. An interested fan thought they would inquire about Seagal's musical origins. Hey there, Sensei Seagal. Hey, this guy knows. My name. He knows my name. Big fan of your work. Just wanted to ask you about your musical abilities. When, where, and how did you start playing the guitar? Also, what musician was the most fun to play, collaborate with? I started playing guitar in the Detroit in the 50s and I was in an all black band. I feel like I'm talking to a retarded child. All right, uh, nobody asked you what color or race anybody was, but thanks for sharing. Yeah, I have some Italian on my mother's side. I I'm Russian. My family are from Vladivostok and Belarus and, you know, Vladimir Putin. I'm a Russian Mongol and I'm Russian. My father was a Russian Mongol, so these people are Russian Mongols. I uh, am a little bit Asian. And... Okay. <coughs> now let's get some of the longer, but by no means less entertaining comments out of the way. I worked at Blockbuster about a decade ago. Every three months, we had to throw away a billion copies of whatever movie you made in order to make room for the next movie you made that nobody ever rented. Clearly from the next contribution to waste management mountains everywhere, this is still happening. When do you plan to stop? Is there anything we can do to quicken this before your carbon footprint steps right through the earth? If Blockbuster was around today, I'm pretty sure Seagal's movies would have their own special bin. I live in Vancouver and know a ton of people who have worked on films with you. Is it true that you insist on blocking many scenes so you can be sitting the whole time because you're too lazy to stand up? Yeah. Is it true that you insist that productions hire someone to hold a card to properly shadow your horrific neck fat? Yeah. Is it true you're still an unbearable dick who bullies everyone on set and acts like you're an A-list star even though you're starring in a shitty C-list movie? I've had a lot of money. <laughs> What's it like being 500 pounds and in an action movie? What's the ratio to you and your stunt double in the movie? 30 to 70? That's being generous. I think it's unfair to assume Sensei Seagal doesn't do his own stunts. Sitting down in a chair for the duration of a movie is still considered a stunt. Everyone knows sitting for long periods is extremely dangerous and can cause cramping as well as an unhealthy fascination with carrots. Let's finish off this little tribute from the fans with a few short, sharp, positive comments. Speed round. Fight! Do you live in Thailand because you're a pedophile? Or just because you're so embarrassed by your terrible movies and general personality? 
<laughs> How did it feel to beat Kelly LeBrock? I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10. Pretty sure he fears scales. <laughs> Just joking. How do you like Bangkok? You are the legend. I am also again here, and I will buy you a drink. It would be an honor for me. Send me PM. I love it. I like the culture, the people, the architecture. And the chicks with dicks, am I right? Brilliant. Damn! By the way, Kelly LeBrock was his wife for a period after they met on the set of Hard to Kill. She was a beautiful, beautiful woman, and I cannot for the life of me understand why she was with Seagal. The only possible explanation is that Seagal must be hung like a... Besides, you've got so much to live for. Please wake up. Moving on now. Three hours later. What's the weirdest thing you've ever done to your Russian sex slaves? Actually, hold on a minute. Привет, дорогая. Привет, дорогой. Это тебе. Спасибо. Сестричка, я сейчас к тебе присоединюсь. Милый, могу я пойти и поплавать латинкой водички? Конечно. I knew the woman from this lightning bolt commercial was a slave of his. I knew it. The answer to this man's question? Being in that commercial. That's the weirdest and worst thing she's had to do. You poor bitch. And lastly, how does it feel to do an AMA and find out only six people actually like you? I didn't count six. I couldn't find one. They don't give a damn about you. They don't like you. I don't like you. The girl don't like you. Nobody likes you. Ah, uh, it's always good to end on a positive note. Thank you again for watching and joining our band of Merry Sigalians. And if you haven't subscribed, do it or I'll get Seagal after you. I want you dead. The next video will be a movie recap of what I hear is Seagal's most brilliant performance, and by that I mean it is rat shit. I really don't give a fuck. Until next time, peace out. When the girls start to strut, you can look at their butt, you shouldn't do that. The girl dress is just a pity, not just there to cover her kitty.